We're here at the RWA Dinghy Show taking a look at what Multi Hull Madlist is going on. We're going to have a look around at a few of the boats and see what the differences are. So I'm here with Joe from RS and he's going to tell us a little bit about their Cat 14. Cool, so we've got uh, two boats that are catamarans in our range, the Cat 14 and the Cat 16. And the Cat 14 comes in two models as such. There's this model which is the XL which has got a spinnaker. Uh, which is quite cool, so it's really good for getting into asymmetric cat sailing. The 16 is a slight step up, it's got two trapezes as opposed to one, and uh, it's a lot more powerful. This is more aimed at kind of kids, whereas the cat 16 is more of an adult boat. Oh brilliant, and what do you reckon the top speed of the cat 16 is? Uh, top speed cat 16 I'd say about 17 knots, 18 knots, so yeah, when you get it ripping, when you get it ripping it'll get some good speeds. So what kind of boats does this compare to that are also on the market? So if we compare it to the Olympic boat, the NACRA, it's a lot easier to sail, it's a lot more versatile in terms of training. It's more of a training boat than an NACRA, but something similar like a Dart 16, this is a much more modern boat, modern rotor hull, so yeah, it's a cool boat. Perfect. How much does this boat cost? Uh, so this boat, if we just look at the sign here, this boat costs uh, 6875 but there are monthly options for payment, so you can spread that out, that cost out. Brilliant, I can't wait to have a go. So I'm here with Bob from NACRA, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the NACRA 17 behind me. The NACRA 17 is uh, the first mix Olympic class and that makes it quite special and we turned it out two years ago to a full foiling boat. Are you looking for people to be able to sail them who aren't quite Olympic level? Yeah, yeah definitely. That's why also the program with the NACRA 15 works that well. Uh, the youth program, you will, we will note because it's not, the Olympic is not for everybody. We try to get also under 23 more attractive. Uh, we want to do more events, more races. Uh, so that creates also a an, an, an different market uh, and a different fleet, but besides the Olympic. Do you know the top speed that the NACRA 17 foiling has gone? Yeah, the top speed, the guys are now almost going to reach the 30 knots. Um, and that's the, that's the magical point where, where everybody is, is, is getting a little bit scared, actually. Multi-hull sailing seems to be really taking off. There's so many options for different multi-hulls for people to choose. What sets the NACRA apart from other boats? The, the nice thing about this, about the NACRA as a multi-hull, as an international fleet, is that they're also international racing. And it's not only on a local point, it's a one design class. So if teams are interested, they can travel all around the world, experience all kinds of different stuff, different cultures, besides the sport. And that makes a unique point on the NACRA, actually. So it's really, really high performance, so I'm imagining that a lot of these parts are quite expensive. Tell me how much one of these boats will cost. Yeah, yeah, indeed. It's, uh, it's a hybrid, uh, so we built out of carbon and uh, epoxy, in an infused. The boards are carbon, the rudders are carbon, the masts are carbon. Uh, this boat will start with the 2020 pricing, uh, around 30,000 euros, excluded tax. I'm here with Henry from White Formula and this is the Whisper and he's going to tell us a little bit more about the boat. Yeah, so the, uh, the Whisper is a, uh, a monocot construction, um, different to all other catamarans because the beams are all integrated. Uh, the reason we did that was to make the platform really stiff because we, uh, we run four foils. Um, where we're quite unique because we run all four foils in contact at the, at the same time, at all points of sail. The reason for that is uh, stability when foiling. We want everybody to be able to foil it, not just your semi-professionals or your professional sailors. So if you have any, any background in sailing, you can go on the Whisper and you'll be able to foil it. So. so this is kind of your ideal entry-level foiling boat, but can you get some high-performance racing out of it as well? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, sure. You can, you can go sort of north of 25 knots if you want to. Again, you could foil it at six knots boat speed. The boat will do that. You could go out in 18 knots of wind, do six knots or you could go up to 20 knots more for that again so it's up to what you really want to get out of the boat so, so how does this compare to some of the other multi hulls that are on the market uh, this is quite unique in its own way that it has the four foils um, the, the back rudders are fixed uh, the two main foils have ones which automatically adjust the flap makes it really stable uh, it's and it also makes it really safe so if you don't have any prior knowledge of 
foiling or even sailing catamarans for that fact, the boat will look after you. Sounds like a fantastic all rounder and how much will this boat cost? So this will be 27,000, all rigged up, there's nothing that you don't see on the boat if you see it here. Um, it's full carbon, carbon construction, uh, carbon mast, carbon hull, oils, absolutely everything. It weighs about 110 kilos um, and it's a lot of bang for your buck really and it works. So. Perfect, I'd love to have a go. Yeah, go for it, come join us. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm here with Tom from Windsport and he's going to tell us a little bit about the Dart 18. Yeah, so behind us you can see the Dart 18, um, which is one of the older designs. I, I like to think of it as a, as a bit of a modern classic these days. Uh, principally it's a two-person boat, but you can sail it with, uh, with just the mainsail and one person. Uh, it's a single trapeze catamaran and it's kind of focused at the... Uh, you know, at the, it's a simpler boat to sail, um, but it's the sort of boat where the sailor really makes a difference because it's strict one design and everyone's on the same formula. Uh, so it's great racing. Uh, it's not the fastest boat out there, um, but if you want to have some great racing and a great social, it's, it's where you want to be. And do you know the top speed that a Dart 18 has ever reached? Oh, the top speed, uh, uh, more than 20 knots. I don't know exactly top speed, but it, you know she she gets ripping when uh, when the breeze is up. Put her on a square reach, and uh, and she'll be uh, you'll be hauling. And so obviously there's a lot of catamarans on the market these days. What is it that sets the Dart 18 apart from the rest? I think the Dart, you know, its big big selling points are the, firstly the fact that it's strict one design. You know, you can have this boat here which is brand new, and you can also buy a boat which is 30 years old and basically be competitive with each other. Uh, and then the other big you know really good part about the dart is is the the family that come with it you know the group of people that travel around the world around the country um, and ultimately the sailing and the racing is important but getting back in and having a good time after all of that is, is just as important to the to the class that sounds really good fun and how much would this cost me uh, so new these come in at just under fourteen thousand uh, pounds but again you know the class has been established for so long uh, that there's a lot older boats out there which you can pick up for almost next to nothing um, and get yourself out on the water. So wherever you are in the market, uh, you can always basically get yourself a Dart 18. That sounds great fun, thank you. Here we are, the end of the day at the RYA dinghy show. We've shown you entry level multi-hulls all the way through to top level Olympic class racing multi-hulls and everything in between. <laughs>